We moved out here, didn't have a dog. I wanted a companion. My wife actually found an ad where someone was giving away a lab. And we went into Fort St. John and from the moment I opened the door, she took to me more than anybody else in the family and she came home with us that day. To me, every family needs animals. So it was exciting that he brought her home. The kids really enjoyed her, and uh, we put a lot of miles on in the summer in the outdoors. Brent and I have spent a lot of time in the hills um, on the way out here hiking with Rhea. Down in the Beaton Valley, there's uh, some walking trails, and so it's through the hills. It's quite a complex trail. It's 13 kilometers, and we hike there all summer. The whole Peace Region, which Fort St. John's in the Peace Region, it's very abundant in wildlife and most people here hunt for recreation. I'd called my mom to see if she wanted to go hunting because she loves the outdoors. So I met her at her house and we left from there and we hiked for a few hours. So coming back, it was getting dark. You could see to walk, but you had to get a flashlight to make out tracks. We had heard elk, caught a glimpse of elk. so. Brent said, Mom, you and Rhea stay here and I'm gonna go check to see where the elk went to. Rhea, whenever we're out hiking, hunting, I've trained her to follow me. She's not allowed to pass. That's just her spot is behind me and to follow. And the whole time that Brent is walking away, Rhea is just whining him because he had got out of her sight. About 20 feet in front of us, the bush just exploded. I can remember Brent saying, we're being charged by a bear. Could hear the snapping of the jaws and the growling, and I could see with my headlamp that I could see the bear's eyes glowing in the headlamp, and it had a cub with it. You could see the smaller bear beside it. You could see the reflection of its eyes. Surprising a sow with cubs is probably one of the most dangerous situations you can be in. They are probably the most powerful predators in North America. I have never ever had a bear charge before. I have never heard the noises before that that bear made that night. You could hear it physically coming at us because of the dry trees and grass and stuff. Rhea being behind me ran past me and was in and stopped this bear from charging, barking like a crazy dog. I've never heard her make noises like that before. And the bear retreated back into the bush and Brent says, Mom, don't run. And I said, I'm not going to. And we're backing up to give the bear some space and to get our wits together on what's going to happen next. Because we were still so close, it feeling threatened, it charged again. And you could hear it clicking its teeth and huffing and growling. And Rhea again ran after it, barking, and stopped it. After the third time, we weren't sure that it was just going to end. Rhea definitely stopped her from getting too close and gave us the time to retreat. With her quick reaction of running past me, just that instinct to protect us, I guess, we made it back to the truck without any further incidents. We got her in the truck when we all got back into the truck. I just grabbed her and gave her a big hug and a kiss. And it was just amazing, amazing what she did. And she was so alert and she put herself in front of Brent and I to protect us. In my mind, the bear would have been on top of Brent. I would have tried to get in to help, but I feel Rhea risked her life to save us. We owe her our lives. She was amazing that day because I, I truly believe in my heart if she wouldn't have been there, we would have been hurt severely or not here to tell the story. Love her lots. Her being inducted into the Prina Animal Hall of Fame is amazing. To me, she deserves it. Definitely that day she protected us. I'm so grateful she was there and reacted the way she did. I know every dog I have from now on will be compared to her.